Hello there. Um, today's video is going to be about the heart and the power um, of love within it. Now, depends how you see it. If you're taking a scientific view or you're taking a more spiritual view, which you can tell I'm no, not disregarding science, I feel they both work together. Such as science at one end of the spectrum, the spirits at the other end of the spectrum. And the science for me is the kind of language, the physical language behind the spiritual realm. Uh, when they both come together, I feel that is how life is created. Now, when I talk about the heart, I was kind of talking about it's a unity consciousness, it's one organ, it's there as one. So things come in, it, there is no kind of good, there is no kind of bad. There is just kind of oneness and it's all necessary to happen to move life forward. The universe itself, um, once again, these are kind of my theories, and I'm more than happy to take, have discussions. Um, that's what that's about discussion and, and kind of giving back, giving forth, expanding. Like the universe, infinitely ever expanding. That's, that is actually, so I say, it, it's never ending, it, it's always expanding and growing. Um, and that, for me, includes everything within it. So ourselves, um, our emotions, I'm going to say ourselves, I mean our growth, our growth is infinite as well, how we can grow and what we can be is completely infinite, ever expanded. And if we think about that with our emotions, think about the emo um, as you think about what they call the seven deadly sins. And look at the sins, do you think if they were infinitely ever expanding, if we're emotional we knew, it was a lust, gluttony, greed. If they're infinitely ever expanding, there is no end to them. Which is why, and they're not the nicest thing paths to go down. However, if love is infinite and ever expanding, think of the beauty that if everyone here chose to live from the heart and infinitely ever expanded that outwards to everyone and everything they come into contact with. I've done a few felt it, but I can feel there is a definite change and a shift in the world at the minute. Which is sometimes things have to get inevitably worse before they get better. Um, which is why I think we're seeing a lot of uh, unrest and unease at the minute. Now, just touch a little bit, if I can, on my kind of own development within this. Um, I have uh, recently kind of been trying to get more in touch with nature, more in touch with, um, say, my internal essence of who I am. Um, what I found, i um, certainly got more self-awareness, more self-confidence, um, and to the point where I don't care too much what people think about me, but I do value their opinion. Um, and I do talk, um, and I'm sort of realising there is a lot of, um, life is a lot of contradictions. Um, on men and women, one big contradiction, the masculine energy, the feminine energy, complete polar opposites. One looks at the vast wholeness of it, um, the other one is just more direct. But if they both work and blend together, and I say this a lot, it's where life is created. Think of a man, a woman, come together, life is created from that essence of the coming together of both energies. Um, you can blend both energies within you. So you have that coming together of growth. Now, as I just touched on a um, minute ago, there are harder and there are darker times, not just in the world, but sometimes in our own lives. Um, and say once again, if, if things are infinitely and ever expanding, and you go down the path of that tougher, harder, darker essence of life, it will be never ending. And that's why sometimes you do need someone to lend a hand and kind of pick back up and let you know you are not alone. There are vast amounts of energies, people, things, nature, there's vast amounts of that in the world. You are never ever alone. It's up to you. And I'm not saying it's easy, I say I'm not it's not easy. It's certainly worth it, but it's never easy. And those things that are worth it are really easy. They might be simple, but they're never easy. And that's why sometimes you need to come back into the grounding reality of the earth. Whilst also realising that you have the ability to create anything you desire. Now, due to that, I say, wherever we are, we are, our own reality is what we create our own reality. Now that in turn affects others around us. 
So basically our reality comes into their reality. Does it mix? Does it clash? Is it? Is that what it's meant to be? So, with a change of kind of thinking, a change of mentality, a change of what are you allowing in? Where are you thinking? Where are you coming into? You know, I may have, you know, are we living from the heart? So that we can kind of see the whole and then make decisions based on that. And say, for me, the heart is the kind of source of everything. It, it's, it's the first thing that's um, made when we're first uh, conceived. The heart is the first thing that starts to, uh, well, the first thing that starts to beat off, but it's the first thing that is actually produced within the womb. Um, I think we'll get a little bit. So let's go back to kind of what I was saying about the processes of how you get yourself in that zone to project yourself forward. Um, just to give you a little bit of my insight of what I do. I, looked, I wake up in the morning, um, like most of it, I'll check my phone to sort of see if, you know, Facebook, likes the, you know, just to see if what I put now is of any value, um, if, or if you to get into it one. Then you quickly realise, and this is what I get great in reality, quickly realise that, hmm, maybe I'm not the uh, fantastic, brilliant side I thought I was, and it's like, okay. Then you spend about five or ten minutes self-doubting yourself, thinking, is this worth continuing? Is it, is it even worth and then guess what? <laughs> I remember there's a tea to make, so <laughs> get a cup of tea, get your morning drink, get that in there. Then I start to think, start to ponder, um, start to write some stuff down. So this has evolved like this this morning. Write some stuff down. Things start to flow, and, and then you realise that it's it's not about the individual video as such. I mean, the ind or the individual moment. It's to a point, but it's the development over those moments, over the course of time. And then as I'm doing it, as you can see, you get a bit more enthusiasm, a bit more spark, and then you just want to put your essence into the universe because you know that you have something good to give. And that's how you kind of get in the zone. Now, just to basically sum up, um, sorry, to basically sum up, for me, the heart is pure oneness, pure unity consciousness, and it's where we should at least start from. In the darker times, there are people out there that wish to help. I mean, I like to help wherever I can. I'm not saying you know, I can always help, but I always like to put my hand out there and say, look, what do you need? How can we help? How can we get through this? There are people there for you all the time. Um, put together a daily kind of routine to get you in that moment, get you through that process, um, to put yourself in the moment, please have in the essence to think, right, I know what I want to do, how do I go about doing that? And then a lot of the time you will tell yourself, just prepare the way the process is, you're talking to yourself, camera, mirror. For me that's gives well it just, it just gives you that kind of motivation, that spark and that confidence to rise up rather than thinking, oh, I'm just gonna accept this no process. And just to kind of say, I mean, if you do need any help, uh, please feel free to message me, um, either privately or what. I can't promise to say I'm not qualified, I can't promise to change your world. But I can certainly lend an ear or two and listen. And sometimes that's what I need, just to, someone there to listen, just to put out our voice. And while that person is listening and while you're talking, what you'll find, you'll pretty much give yourself the answer. Um, thank you very much for listening. Please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe, and I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great one.